Domestic abuse has been on the rise since COVID, but there is help available. Victoria's Women's Transition House also has a program for children who've witnessed abuse, whether it's physical, verbal, or emotional. And counselors also go to schools to talk to kids at all age levels in the hopes of ending the cycle. Tass Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. So here uh, we have our playroom where we do most of our counseling. Nate Demetria shows us the cozy and inviting space at Victoria Women's Transition House. We like to use this corner and read some books with children. Where kids have a safe place to share. Because that's actually the biggest part of the job, is being able to create a space where it's so safe, it feels safe for a kid. Um, where they know that they're heard and they're listened to. Where they're unconditionally accepted. Nate's a counselor with Transition House's Peace Program, which supports children between the ages of 3 and 18 who've witnessed domestic violence and abuse, like verbal and emotional abuse. What you learn and what you're around at home dictates how you, how you walk in the world. Simply by having the chance to talk and say things out loud, it allows our brains to really process and organize information in a way that makes a lot more sense. And we have all kinds of animals and children and families that we can role play. Children are given tools to cope with their experiences and learn how to identify and constructively express their emotions. The problem isn't the emotion, the problem is when people don't know how to express those emotions without harming somebody else. And so that's really what our work is about. So talking about emotion regulation, talking about um, how to stay safe, understanding what is abuse and what isn't abuse, because at the end of the day, the purpose is to break that cycle of abuse. When he became violent, he said the alcohol made him do it. And sadly, since the COVID pandemic, domestic abuse is on the rise. Due to pandemic stressors, um, I think the issue, which has not gone away, of this violence and abuse in the home has, um, has increased. And so we have more clients, we have more need, and we sadly also are looking for more funding. And we also love to paint and do crafts. And Programs like this wouldn't be possible without community support, but the Peace Program hopes to stop the cycle of intergenerational abuse. And to that end, counselors also do violence prevention workshops in schools for all grade levels. By talking about it and bringing the stigma down about talking about it, the hope is once again to break that cycle of abuse. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.